That one vividly, actually, yeah. That one was so good. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah. No, Father Plum is a standout guy and player as well. Mm -hmm. So let's see how Albi can handle it going into this first game. Mm -hmm. I believe Albi would be the favorite to win uh, in this day and age. In but this in the head -to -head winner's sometimes. semifinals of our remarkable tournament. Yeah, good stuff so far from every player. All right, I'll be putting Father Plum into a ledge trap situation, letting him get back, getting that reverse snare. See, when I play with him, sometimes he says, like, it's intentional, but other, other times he says it's snapback. So, like, I don't know for uh, sure when that happens. What is snapback? Uh, the, like, nair facing Oh, the nair facing the other yeah. way. Yeah, I could see that being snapback. For sure. But I could also see it sometimes being intentional. Snapback is a plague on this game. Yep, controller is bad. Definitely. Tried to get my controllers fixed, but I cannot do it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what happens next. Close game so far. Not gonna get a kill from that down tilt. Gonna wall out with the back air. And is that going to kill? Just dropped off. Oh, I thought he would just do a drop off nair, but that also works. Just let him SD, I suppose. Yeah, no, as, as much as I was singing PS2's praises earlier, definitely the underside of the stage could use some work. Sometimes you just fly into it and get pineapple. Lucas fell straight out of Palatine in air, and I feel like Albi would have gotten a fair amount of damage if that had hit properly. Quite possibly, yeah. All right, catching the jump with down tilt and making it back with the rope stink. Indeed. Shoutouts to all the people who thought Mother 3 was going to get announced in the direct like they do every direct, by nope, the way. Nope, it was Bayonetta 3 that time. Exactly. And Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. What a, what a guy. And Splatoon 3. And that Kirby game as well, but right now we That got... one isn't 3, or Chris Pratt. It's not. That's true. Wait, what was Chris Pratt up to with numbers? I don't know. Anyway, we got Palutena at 144% and climbing. Plum trying to get some PK fires in. Mm -hmm. Plum at 69.3. I did not want to say it, but he was in fact, he is still in fact at that percent, getting the point kill. three. Yes, that's true. That is indeed and he true. is now at 70.1. All right, so he's lost it. That's okay, down throw. I don't know if that was intentional at all. I think that was meant to be a down throw turnaround back air. Yeah, I could see it. I've heard I'll be saying his controller's kind of just being screwy with him. That would have been a really funky edge guard. Definitely. Just fall off with the auto reticle. Not going to get the kill, though. We can imagine he wants to hit the backwards aerial from Palutena. Or a dash tech. You know, just any of these attacks with the uh, invulnerable, uh, invulnerable shield. Mm -hmm. quite, a, quite a fun thing to deal with. Mm, I wonder if he can... Oh, that hit behind oh, him, so no. he didn't absorb it. But he, like, I think knew it was coming. Yeah, that sucks there for our good boy, Plum. But it's okay. He's not too far behind. He can still make this back. Just got to play around that move. Oop, Palatine in there. Oh, my God. So the first one didn't combo, then he hit the second one, which comboed into the third one that didn't connect properly. Until, like, Palatine has a little bootleg lightning kick there. All right, we're going to see. Back it. right up onto stage, right into ledge trap position. It's just a never-ending loop for Plum. Oh, Ooh, wow. That was a nice down smash, but Plum actually lifted. it. This could be bad. Counter Ooh, the PK counter? Thunder. Okay. And another, another one. Another one. That'll do it. He might have lived, actually, with some better DI, but, like... I a... never see Palutena as you counter. It's uh, certainly one of the weaker ones in the game. I think it's the weakest one in the game, like, in terms of, like, raw power. I would not be surprised if that's uh, the, the case. Very underwhelming move in terms of knockback compared mm. to other counters. It reflects though, which is nice. Yeah, but yeah, sure. I very rarely see her use it as an edge guarding option. It's unfortunate. Alright, game two here on Town & City. Plum's pick, let's see if he can make something happen. Maybe, I mean, it, you can't outzone Palutena her like... Auto reticle and explosive flame both have more range than PK fire. Ooh, down out of shield, comboing into a neutral air, looking for a back air kill off stage. Playing around plum snare pretty nicely, getting forward air in the face. That percent just be climbing on plum right now. Nice get up attack to get past the uh, auto reticle. Yeah, it's going to be a neutral air, but no conversion. 
Up smash out of shield, but not quite in range to get the punishment. Using the explosive flame to cancel out the PK freeze is very interesting. Back here, looking for that fishing, you know, Plum was fishing for a kill for there. Mm -hmm. I'll be answering kindly with a back here. Trying to catch the platform. Oh, a little early on that grab. What are you thinking right now, Abby? Um, not much. I'm thinking Albie's just trying to take Plum and hit him with whatever he can hit him with. Like, if he's at low percent, try to find a, a way to get the Nair. Like, uh, figure out what Plum likes to do in the kind of disadvantaged positions. Like, oh, you've just been hit by a bear affair. How do you like to respond after this? And how can I Nair it if possible? That's true. That would have been a really slick grab, but Plum spot dodge. And this is actually quite close. Yeah, Plum's bringing it back. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be playing around Plum's favorite uh, being in the corner shenanigans. For sure, yeah. Mm, I don't. That wasn't quite a platform cancel, if that's what he was going for. Uh, what happens from here? Uh, okay. Ooh, catches the platform cancel. Yeah, Plum's doing really nicely right now. Actually grabbing the lead. Staying away from Albi. And that back throw will kill. All right, very nice. Got the lead going into the last stock of this game here. Let's see, can he close it out? Yeah, he's uh, he's putting up a really good defense against the ways Albi likes to uh, aggress. Not yeah. him, with like, the, with like the landing aerials, but that was a good timing mix up. Catching Albi's landing with an up mm -hmm. tilt. I feel like he's just, he understands Albi's rhythm right now. For sure. And Albi will need to throw him off. Making it back, both players. Ooh. Missed that back there. Little costly, but not the end of the world. I just love how Lucas Lee uses a, a twig for his forward smash. <laughs> Stick. Yeah. <laughs> Please, Ness looks so somewhat like professional with that baseball bat, but nah. Just stick. Stick. I like the stick. Stick bug. <laughs> Again, um, Using the PSI magnet there to catch mm, the explosive. That was a good uh, double jump there from ledge, which then comboed into the grab. Oh yeah, no, this has just been Plum's game. Just yeah, ever since around. like midway through this game, he's been in total control. But that back air, I think shield poke. So we'll see if Albi's able to avoid death long enough to uh, hit Plum hard enough to bring it back. Well, wow, Plum just trying to put him away right then and there on the spot. Uh, Palatine and Nair combos. He's taken 30. Nair planes in the night sky like shooting stars, you know? And Albi could really, really use a wish right now. But the wish of a better game three. Exactly. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Good stuff from our boy Father Plum. Taking it to a last game. Let's see what happens. Albi will have his counter pick advantage. I'm sure this is like the best stage Lucas could have picked. Both being quite a long distance, so you have a lot of space to move back around with PK fire and also early back throw kills. I didn't quite see where they went for the last game. Me neither, but we'll find out here. I don't know. I feel like Plum definitely had some momentum carrying him there at the end. Mm -hmm. Just see. back to stadium. All right, just immediately evading the auto vehicle. Good, nice little punish. Starting the string. Both players just scrapping right now. Close percentage on both parties. Mm -hmm. Plum has been absorbing the uh, explosive flames a lot. Yeah. You got a quick forward air coming in there. Now a back air. Yeah, he's just been absorbing them a lot. Using the PSI magnet very nicely. And I feel like Albi should be throwing less of them. Yeah, it might just be like muscle memory or. Maybe if he has like enough guts, like actually like go out and try to punish him for pressing it, but I don't know if he like. There, he actually did try to do it. And the down air was so good. I thought he was just gonna back air, but that also works. He's yeah, dead. Through the PK Thunder Rocket. Very nice. I actually believe that when Ness and Luca, Lucas are rocketing, it's called PK Thunder 2. I think that's what the community dubbed name for it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But yeah, it is known as PK Thunder 2. Got it. Got some PK Fires. Playing neutral with these fireballs, I like it. Good stuff, Plum. I'll be breaking through. 
Nearly dead even percents, DIing out to get away from that down from back. Nearly dead even percents, but Albi's got one more stop. He does. I did not notice that actually. Yeah. Yeah, he's got an entire another stop than Flum does. So he's quite well in control of this game right now. Quite significant change of pace here from game two. Good mix up of where he would go at the landing. He's like, I know you want to chase my uh, platform cancel, so I'm just going to not do it, and then you're going to give me space to land here safely. But I actually believe Albi had the lead at the beginning of game two. Yeah, yeah. like it was, uh, it was, there was a dynamic shift, and uh, Albi's not letting that one happen this time. Yeah, definitely not. Three stocks to one. Pump going for a um, hard read there with the PK freeze. Not paying off, unfortunately, but he didn't get punished. That's good for him. All right, sour forward air. Just using it to wall out space. Good, good stuff. And um, we'll see if uh, if Plum's able to kill Albi, or if Albi's able to use like, hey, I'm at kill percent. I know what sort of things you're gonna do, like to try to kill me, which makes you more predictable and gives me better openings. Because that's the thing. That's actually really like, like players that are good, such as Albi, can really make use of uh, that kind of those kind of reads. Where it's like because of my disadvantaged position, I can I uh, I I know that you're going to make more predictable choices based on it. Yeah, no, that's true. And I think that's what Albi's doing. He's like, okay, I'm gonna play in a way that gets me as, you know. Of course, he eventually fell into it there, but he got so much mileage out of just avoiding the things that would kill him for so long. And look how much damage Plum has taken in the process. The game's basically over. Pretty much. Plum's gonna need a miracle to bring this back. Oh, going for a hard read there. Yeah, it was it was the right read to make too, but um, it just didn't quite work out. Yeah, because Plum had a, uh, you know, he could fall off stage. Whereas Albi was kind of banking mm -hmm. on him landing on stage. He's back air. And he's trying to stay on the down air. You gotta play around Palutena's back air. Okay, hanging out low with this uh, rope snake down there. Ooh. Down throw. Into up air, just got the eye on the down throw and that will kill. That was a pretty solid game three for Albi. Very convincing win. For sure, and so that's gonna send him off to the winners, uh, winners finals now.